Coast Guard Leadership Development Center, Command and Operations School proudly presents How to Make a Radio Call. Calling the vessel in position 036 degrees, 58 decimal 36 north, 076 degrees, 06 decimal 22 west. This is the Coast Guard Cutter McAllister on channel 13. Over. I don't get it, Master Chief. They're not responding. I've, I've hailed them twice. Well, they probably don't know you're talking to them. They're not over there staring at the GPS in case somebody calls out a bunch of numbers over the radio. Maybe try calling them back with the geographical location. Oh, you must be talking about the three objectives of a radio call. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Where'd that come from? When hailing a vessel on the radio, these are the three objectives you should follow. First, establish a positive ID. When calling a vessel, just, don't just simply use the line alone. Also use your geographical position, the distance from the geographical position, as well as their course and speed if you have that information. Second, agree on the situation. Matthew, what's that look like? Well, you want to tell them the uh, elements of the situation you think they're in and uh, communicate that to them and then see if they agree or disagree with you. That's correct. And lastly, after you know the situation, agree on the action over the radio that both vessels will take to ensure you do not have collision. Try calling them back. Uh, looks like they're uh, off of Thimble Shoals Light, outbound Thimble Shoals Channel, approaching buoys 15 and 16. Will do. Hailing the vessel, outbound Thimble Shoals Channel, just past Thimble Shoals Light, approaching buoys 15 and 16. This is the Coast Guard Cutter McAllister, off your bow, channel 13. Over. Uh, no, uh, 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 u